Welcome to Greg's Garage. In this video, I do a review slash demo of a threaded nut hand riveter tool by Astro Nomadic. If you like working on cars and watching DIY videos, then you should hit the subscribe button because that is what I post on this channel. As seen here, the tool comes in a nice blow molded plastic case. In the case, you'll find a set of instructions, which has a section for operating the tool, a parts breakdown, and a drill size chart for the drill bits. Six small plastic cases of what they call nose piece and mandrel sets, which come in metric and standard sizes. And what I call a little sample pack of 10 threaded nut rivets for each set. Inside each case, you'll have two piece set, which is the mandrel and the nose piece. So when it comes to actually using the tool, you'll have to match the threaded nuts to the correct set of mandrel and nose pieces shown here. And last but not least, the main tool. The tool actually has a pretty sturdy feel to it and it's pretty straightforward to use, which I will get to in a minute. But first I'm gonna show how to kind of break it down and change out the nose pieces and mandrels. The nose piece is removed by unthreading it counterclockwise. This can be done by hand or with the provider wrench if too tight. Next you have to compress the spring with your finger to be able to remove the mandrel. You just keep spinning that counterclockwise to it releases. Here I wanted to show in a little bit more detail on what you have to do with the sleeve. It basically just slides back and forth but when you're removing or installing the mandrel you have to slide it back to where this is exposed. So to install a set, it's basically the reverse operation. You'll hold back the sleeve and thread in the mandrel clockwise until it bottoms out. Then just release the sleeve. Here I wanted to show how sometimes the sleeve can get hung up and all you really have to do is hold the sleeve back and turn the mandrel a little bit and it usually slips by. After that, you'll install a nose piece by also threading it on clockwise. It's also important to note that you want to keep these mandrel and nose sets together. They're not interchangeable. So you want to keep them together as a set in their cases. If you like, you could snug up the nose piece with the provided wrench. When it comes to the threaded inserts, you're going to want to make sure that the handles on the tool are extended all the way apart. Then whichever threaded insert you choose, you'll just thread that on clockwise till it bottoms out. Here I just wanted to take a second and show what the actual tool does. If you have it too far out, it won't work. The operation of the tool is that when it's threaded all the way in, it actually crushes the sleeve inside the drilled out hole, and that's what's going to keep it in there. So by having it too far out, it can't crush it. There's also a fine adjustment that could be done on the tool for different size inserts, and I'll go through that here. This is done by opening and closing the adjustment nut, turning the outer sleeve, and it adjusts the length of the mandrel. 
and I'll give a visual demonstration of that here. So if you have like a smaller insert on and you need to bring the tool closer to it, you'll open the adjustment nut, turn the sleeve counterclockwise until it gets closer to the stud. Then you'll just lock the adjustment nut back down. For bigger inserts, where you would need more thread count, you'll do the opposite. You'll open the adjustment nut, you'll turn the outer sleeve clockwise, showing more thread, lock the adjustment nut down, and now you can thread the insert down closer to the tool. Because you always want to have the insert fully threaded and flush with the nose piece. Another important thing I wanted to point out about this tool is you have to keep in mind the length of the tool while you're using it. See how it's sticking out of the camera view right there? So if you're underneath something or behind something, you can't operate it right. So you have to make sure that you have to have 14 inches when you close it completely between the front and the back. So here I'll try to give a little bit better visual representation of what I'm talking about. You always have to keep in mind that you need about 13 and a half to 14 inches of length in your working area. So say this is behind a fender or something, when you go to close it, if you hit the fender, you're not gonna be able to operate the tool correctly. So you wanna make sure that you have at least, like I said, the 13 and a half to 14 inches so when you close it all the way you have all the room you need and it should operate properly. Okay now for the actual demonstration. So you'll pick the right drill bit size for the threaded nut you're going to use. Drill out the hole in the surface. Extend the arms on the tool as far as they go. Thread on the insert all the way until it bottoms out and is flush with the tool. Another important thing you want to keep in mind when doing this is that you want to keep the inserts flat and flush to whatever surface you're using. If you do it on a side tilt like this, it's just going to set you up for a sloppy installation. So hold it nice and flush, tight, and then Basically, it's straightforward. You're just going to squeeze the handles until it bottoms out. And here you can kind of see the thread of insert crush down a bit. After it bottoms out, you can just release the handles and release the tool from the insert by turning the knob counterclockwise. Now you can insert the bolt you needed for the application you're using it for. Here's a few examples of where I've used this tool. I've used them to hang brake line brackets, brake lines, fuel line brackets, and fuel lines. Top support brackets on my radiator. I really like this tool. I find it to be very useful. And if you're in the market for one, I think it's a tool worth having. If you found this video helpful, please hit subscribe and leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.